taking a look at question number seven from your fractions review, we are adding two mixed numbers. So we have three and a third and two and three quarters um, that we need to add together. So there's a couple of different ways you can do this, and I'm going to go through both ways again. Um, so whichever is easiest for you, you can use. Um, so let's say we're going to use the stacked method. Okay, we're not going to convert them to, you have one option, you could convert them to improper fractions and add them together uh, after you have common denominators, or you can leave them as mixed numbers. Um, so we're going to start off with leaving them as mixed numbers. So we have 3 and 1 third, and we are adding 2 and 3 fourths to that. So right now we have a 3 in, a, in the denominator and a 4 in the denominator. So we need to find a common denominator. Um, 12 is going to be our least common denominator. So I would multiply the top by 4 over 4. Remember, whatever you do to the numerator, you have to do to the denominator. And the bottom, I would multiply by 3 over 3 to make 12 in the denominator. So when I make those changes, I now have 3 and 4 twelfths. Which is equivalent to uh, 3 and a third. Plus two and nine twelfths. Now, to use this method, um, you're going to add the numerators. So you have nine and four, that's 13. Denominator stays the same, 12. And then you add the whole numbers out front. Three plus two is five. Now, I'm not quite done. Uh, that's an improper mixed number. Uh, so 12 goes into 13 one more time. So if we changed that to 1, this would be a plus 1. So our final answer would be 6 and 1 twelfth. And then we're going to box that in. So 6 and 1 twelfth. Now that's one option for solving it. You have other options. Um, we can convert that number right off the bat into a improper fraction. Okay, to do that we're taking 3 times 3 and we're adding 1. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. So I have 10 over 3 plus 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3 is 11 plus 11 over 4 Once again, I still need to find a common denominator, so I'm going to multiply this side by 3 over 3, and this side by 4 over 4. You end up with 40 over 12 plus 33 over 12. You add the numerators, and you end up with 73 on top common denominator stays the same, 12. Um, we know that 12 goes into 72 six full times, so our answer would be 6. Oops. And you would have 1 left over, 72, or 73 minus 72 is 1, 12. So 6 and 1, 12. Uh, so both ways are okay ways to solve it. Um, it is up to you guys on what method you want to use. If you guys have any questions, make sure to email me.